Yo! Yo! <laughs> Still geeked up with it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. <sighs> All right. So, look. I know y'all read the title of the thumbnail. Y'all like, dang, wolf, man. What, what's good? What's going on? I'm just like, look. Now, with every job that comes the good, that comes the bad. You feel me? So, with my job, I'm gonna tell you five things that I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily say I hate it, but it be, you know, we. I don't like these things I say about my job, but I'm gonna say hate in the title because it make it a little more dramatic. So let's get right on to it. All right, all right, all right. Five things I hate about being a longshoreman. Let me silence my phone. Number one, I have to say, is the fluctuation of work. Like you got certain times of the year where it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like shifts on shifts on shifts on shifts on shifts. So work gonna be back to back to back to back. You gonna work, you might work seven days a week. That's up to you though, that's up to you. You, you have the opportunity to work seven days a week if you, if you want to. Um, but then again, you got some times where you might work like one day a week. You might have times where it'd be so dry, you don't even work that week. So I'm like, well, that hurt, man. So really, I mean, with time, when it's good, you got to throw some of that money to the side. So when it's bad, you can pull some of that money out. You feel me? So. Work fluctuation is one thing I don't like about working out there. It's so dependent on if a ship come or if a ship don't. You know, so it is what it is. Now, number two, I have to say, lazy co-workers, bro. You got you got people that'll come out there and they'll ride you like a pony, boy. I'm talking about these people. They they ain't gonna do nothing if it ain't if it ain't driving cars, if it ain't dropping buckles. When y'all latching, y'all supposed to be latching these cars. All they want to do is come around with all the latches and sit some down for you. And look, bro, I don't need you to do that for me. I need you to go on that next row behind me and strap some of them cars down. You feel me? I'm over here blood, sweating, tears, knees hurting, back hurting, thighs hurting. I need you to go over there, latch a couple of them cars down, and then I'm going to go back a couple of rows because we're going to have about six people with them. Maybe more, maybe less. You feel me? Everybody get, get your own row. Don't sit no buckles down. No sit no strap down on nothing. You go back there, you let some of them call. You feel me? Got your lazy co workers. They want to sit around and talk all the time, sit by the water all the time, drink up all the water. Oh, I got to use the bathroom. They're going for an hour and a half. Hey, man, come on now. <sighs> That's uh, one thing I hate is uh, my lazy co workers. Now, you also have sometimes they can be a toxic work environment. Oh, uh, he was creeping around with the so-and-so girl and oh, I don't like what he said to me the other day three months ago last year Oh, this that I'm like look that don't got nothing to do with me My guy can't really get my money and go home. I don't care what y'all got going on I don't care if he stole your girl. I don't care if he owe you some money. That don't got nothing to do with me I'm gonna make my money Take my ass home <laughs> that Got nothing to do with me that's one thing I don't like is a toxic work environment or people gossiping and oh yada 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 over here yada 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 over there hey look I don't care about that I can't make my money you feel me so that's another thing you gotta watch out for oh man now this one thing I hate nah I, I say I hate this you got some old equipment out there man some of that stuff older than it's as old as me if not older bro I'm out here driving trucks one day and I'm like damn I got here so it was, I think we were supposed to start up at 7 right I pulled up to the port at 6 45 looking for me a truck the, you know I was supposed to truck drive that day right so I'm like dang I want me one of them good ones with the push button in it it's easy to turn man I'm stuck with a truck I'm talking about you got to hit the brake hit the gas and turn at the same with both hands at the same time if you're trying to turn at a standstill now the other side but they got them good trucks over there now they might be a little old 
it might have a push button, the, the, the gear shift or whatever, but look, you can, uh, ah, ah, all day. But on the other side, I'm talking about, like I said, brake, gas, both hands, ah, yeah. When you turn, I'm very hard, bro. I'm like, bro, I don't like them trucks. So I gotta, you gotta get that early so you can snatch up your good one. <laughs> Wolf tip. Now another one, it comes with the job of being a longshoreman, and you gotta understand these people pay good money out there, and they need that stuff moved in a timely manner. And sometimes the working conditions might not be so suitable. It's not when I say it's suitable, not suitable. I say. Yeah, you you out there working rain, sleet, hail, snow. They don't, hey, we need the product move. Because we got to be to this other port in seven days or less. You feel me? So they really, they need that stuff moved. So, you know, hey, so it might be raining. It might be dark. It might be cold. Like I was working a paper boat one time recently. It was cold and raining and the crane kept breaking down. Now, we didn't get much work done that night. But hey, the pay was still good. <laughs> my money was still in my account that following payday. So I ain't complaining about it, but look, it's all good. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I forgot to add one thing. One thing I, I really don't like, which I guess this is a exclusive. Um, one thing I don't like about working out there is that say, I like, I build seniority to get like a, a letter because my letter at where I'm at is a GG, double G. Um, if I wanted to like go to another port and work there, my seniority wouldn't carry over. Now that's one thing I really don't like because I'm like, dang, what if I wanted to move? I have to start all over again pretty much. I think you would go back to no division at the other port you transfer to and I'm like, I mean, that's not as bad, but that's still, it's, I mean, that's pretty much right before they go back to the people that just started out. So I'm like, ah, I mean, but I got plans. I got plans, don't worry, y'all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, that's one thing I don't like is that your seniority doesn't carry over, along with the other things. But you know, that can be said about any workplace. It doesn't matter that it's, you know, being a longshoreman at all, it just, some jobs got old stuff, old equipment. Some jobs got a toxic workplace. You know, you wouldn't really know until you dive deep into it. Uh, some jobs got, uh, you know, just they pretty much the same, all the same things I've listed off that I don't like about my workplace. So I was really nitpicking. Could be said about any workplace. Now, don't let those things deter you from becoming a longshoreman because uh, it's about to get real good real soon here where I'm at. And uh, I've, uh, I was setting myself up the right way. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but like I said, that, those things can be said about any workplace. So it's not just being the longshoreman. man. It is what it is. But that is the end for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one, baby. So stay tuned for what I got coming to you.